Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. Solving a system of linear equations in two variables when you're asked to solve graphically. When you're asked to solve an equation, remind, or solve a system of equations, remind yourself that you're trying to find the point that is a solution in both equations. And if you look at the picture of it graphically, that means the point where the lines cross. So what we need to do is graph both these lines, find the point where they cross. And then I put on here, please always remember to check your solution algebraically, because especially if you have some kind of fractional answer, or if accidentally you graphed a line with a positive slope instead of negative, it's really easy to mess these up. Okay, let's look at the first one. x plus y equals 4, 2x plus y equals 5. Now, usually when graphing, it's easiest to have things in y equals mx plus b form. So for the first one, I'm going to subtract x from both sides. The second one, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, because now I can see the slopes and the y-intercepts. Okay, the first one starts with up 4, and then my slope is negative 1, so I'm going to go down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1, and use my ruler to connect. Ruler is pretty important, and if I had graph paper, this would be a little bit even better. And then number, the second one says, that you have 2x plus 5. So starting from 5 here, I'm going to go down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. Again, use my ruler to connect them. And then I'm trying to find the point where these lines cross. So it looks to me like 1, 3, but we'll check. Again, the way you check is you plug your x and y into both equations. Like, this is my x, that's my y, so let's see. For my first equation, is my x number plus my y number equal to 4? Yeah, that's good. Second equation, 2 times x plus my y number equals 5? Yeah, so that's how I know I got it correct. Also, please make sure you mark your solution clearly. A lot of times when students do these problems in my classes, they'll just leave 1, 3, in, or they'll leave the whole picture. It is not clear to me that they understand the solution is this point here. Okay, let's try the next one. If I want to get y by itself, I would um, subtract x from both sides. Careful with the minus signs. And then I don't want negative y, I want positive y. So divide everything by negative 1. That's a common student mistake, is messing up those plus and minus signs. Okay, y equals x plus 2, here it is. And then for my second line, it's already in y equals mx plus b form, so I'm just going to start at negative 4. And then instead of going down one right one for my slope and going off my grid, I'm going to go up one left one. Because now I can see, um, it just fits on my picture better. Now if I do it like this, I can't really see where those lines cross, and that's why it's so important to use a ruler. I'm going to go back to my first line and use my ruler to extend. If you can't find the point where your lines cross, you're going to have to use your ruler. Now it looks to me like it's going to be a fractional answer, but I also know I'm not using graph paper. I think this answer should be negative 3, negative 1, and again, I'm going to check my work, especially if you're not using graph paper. x number minus y number equals negative 2. Yeah. And then how about the bottom equation? My y value is equal to opposite of my negative x number minus 4 and negative 1 is equal to 3 minus 4. Yeah. Okay, so that's how I know I got it correct, and I want to mark my solution clearly. Okay, last one. The first equation is already in slope-intercept form. I'll start at negative 1, go up 3 over 1. Use my ruler to draw that line. And then for the next one, it's not quite in slope-intercept form yet, so I need to get y all by itself by dividing everything by 2. 3x plus 2. So starting from 2, I'm going to go up 3 over 1. I can also go down 3, left 1. And if I do this, ooh, you'll notice that these lines don't cross. What's the solution? Well, the solution is the point where the lines cross, and so for this one, I would say there's no solution. And the reason why there's no solution, if I look at the equations, is that they both have the same slope number. Both of these lines have slope of 3, and we know parallel lines have the same slope, and parallel lines never cross. So this is a situation where I have no solution for my system of equations. And by 2. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had... No, that's not right. Three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> it has to be... Less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. <laughs>